Did I get it? Did I finally get it? All right, let's go. So yeah, I've been kind of working with my camera for a while now, trying to get it to stand up properly. Hopefully it doesn't fall again this time. That would be bad. Um, so yeah, this is my second <laughs> attempt at recording this video since I got interrupted at about the eight minute mark the first time. But it's all good. Not the end of the world, I can just remake the video. But yeah, I've been meaning to make this type of video for a while now. Um, I think this video is a bit overdue. So yeah, I've had this idea in mind for a while. I just wanted to talk about some things I'm grateful for, you know? List some things I'm grateful for. Um, obviously I have a lot more than just 10 things to be grateful for, but these are just a few things I thought up off the top of my head real quick. And you know, I just felt like talking about them today, you know? Um, it's quite early in the morning. Um, and I just felt like starting the day off talking about things I'm grateful for. Because why not, you know? Well, a lot's been going on with me over the last couple years. A lot and not much at all at the same time, to be honest. And there's a basketball court here where I'm filming at. And I should probably start off by saying the first thing I'm grateful for is this basketball court. It, there's a basketball court right here where I'm in my neighborhood where I'm filming at. And I've lived here almost 11 years. So it can get boring, repetitive, being in the same place for so long. And, you know, I think having this basketball court here and just the ability to come here clear my head, get some exercise, even if I'm the only one here, because usually I am the only one here. 99% of the time, I'm the only one here. But at least it's something, you know? And I don't honestly don't know where I'd be without this basketball court. Um, it's, especially with the pandemic and everything, it, at least it's somewhere to go and something to do at least, you know? Um, it's really been helpful for my mental health being able to come here, you know? So I'm grateful to have this basketball court here. I'm grateful to be able to come here and just be outside, get some exercise, you know? Another thing I'm grateful for, this one's really important, my mother. I honestly don't know where I would be without my mother. Um, she is a very amazing, inspirational, selfless person, and I wouldn't be alive today without her, I feel like. Well, obviously, she gave birth to me, <laughs> of course, but I mean, like, in my most recent depressing times, I don't think I would have made it through without her, of course. Um, when I reached my all-time low, she's always been there for me, you know? Um, she's been the best influence I've ever had in my life, by far. No one comes close. Um, yeah, I mean, my mother is by far my favorite person. So yeah, another thing I'm grateful for well, my parents, of course, my parents, um, both my mom and my dad have always stayed married. They've been married for about 30 years now. Um, they've never gotten a divorce. We've always lived in the same house. Never done that, done that thing where, where I go back and forth between houses because my parents are divorced. No, my parents have always stayed together. They've always stayed married. They've never gotten a divorce. For the most part, they have a healthy marriage. And that's uh, quite a big plus, because not everybody has that, and I'm grateful to have that. Another thing I'm grateful for is my physical health. You know, I've got both my arms. I've got both my legs. 
Uh, I'm not missing any limbs. I'm not really allergic to much of anything, except for Welbutrin, which is an antidepressant. Um, I'm also allergic to poison ivy and poison oak. Two years in a row at summer camp one time, back when I was a Boy Scout, I got poison ivy and poison oak back-to-back -back years at summer camp. Not fun. Not fun at all. Um, and I honestly don't even know how I got them. But that's pretty much all I can think of that I'm allergic to. Um, I'm not allergic to any type of food. I'm not allergic to really anything but poison ivy, to be honest. Um, I'm grateful to have relatively great physical health. You know? Um, yeah, both my arms, both my legs, not missing any limbs. Not everybody has that either. Um, another thing I'm grateful for is my self-respect. And what do I mean by self-respect? I mean, choose your friends wisely. And the people you allow yourself to be close with, choose those people wisely too. Don't, don't drink poison just because you're thirsty. As in, don't go back to toxic people just because you're lonely. It's like, I'll say it like this. It's basically the same as drinking salt water because you're thirsty. I've had to cut an abusive relationship out of my life because it wasn't serving me, it wasn't making me better, it was only killing my mental health. I have had to cut certain people out of my life that were toxic and that didn't make me a better person. We should surround ourselves with people that make us better, surround ourselves with people that you know, make us feel appreciated, make us feel worth something, you know? So I have the self-respect to understand that I am better than an abusive relationship. I deserve better as a person, as a man, as a human being. And I have the self-respect to choose my friends wisely. Not allow toxic people to stay in my life just for the sake of it. And another thing I'm grateful for is my online friends and family. There are a few select people online that I am closer with than others. There are a few select people that I respect very much and care about very much. And to be honest, I don't know where I would be without them. Um, There's a, a good portion of people that I know that I hope I can stay friends with forever, you know? Some people have been there for me during my darkest moments, above and beyond what I thought they would, you know? Some people that I would call family just some really cool, remarkable people that I've met along my journey, you know? I'm really grateful to have those people. I'm really grateful to call those people my friends. Another thing I'm grateful for is just the warmer weather, you know? 
it's May now, and the weather has really gotten a lot warmer. There's a, there's a lot more green outside, you know what I mean? Um, and I just think the winter was tough, both physically and mentally, you know? And I just think now that the weather's gotten warmer, it's just helped my mental health drastically. Um, just the fact that the weather is warmer has made me feel more motivated, made me happier, and just, it's less stressful now, now that the weather's warmer. Something about the weather being warmer has just made things feel a lot more okay. Does that make sense? Another thing I'm grateful for, this is a big one, uh, my cat. <laughs> My cat's basically been like my best friend for almost 11 years now. Well, over 10 years now. This year it'll be 11 years. Um, yeah, he's, he's, uh, he's basically been there since I was a little kid. Um, he's like, I don't think I can possibly be um, closer with any cat than I am with him, and he's just, uh, he's just a magnificent creature, <laughs> and, uh, I love him so much. He's getting older, but he is still a kitten. Um... Of course. Um, one more thing I'm grateful for is just my overall mental stability. Because I'll tell you this. Back in October, when I found out my girlfriend was cheating on me again, I basically hit rock bottom, my all-time low. I, I then tried to kill myself in December. And honestly, my mental health just spiraled so low for so many months. Mainly due to an abusive relationship. And I just turned into someone that I'm not. And I had to get a therapist. I had to go to a mental hospital. I made a video about the things I learned as a mental hospital patient. And I feel like I've come a long way in just about six to eight months. I finished with therapy and I, I genuinely feel more positive about the year, especially now that the weather's warmer. I feel a lot more mentally stable than I did about six months ago. I'm grateful for the mental stability that I have. Even though I'm not perfect yet, of course no one's perfect. The mental stability that I have right now, I am grateful for. And hopefully I can keep improving on that. And one more thing that I'm grateful for is just my realizations. Now, um, I've had many, many important realizations in the last several months. Uh, more, a lot more than I can possibly list in this video. But yeah, just a few select realizations that I can come up with off the top of my head is, well, for one, the most important thing in life I've kind of realized is, is uh, it's not about what anyone thinks of us. It's not about, um, exterior things. It's about the stuff we do, you know? The most important thing in life is basically just the stuff we do. That's pretty much all it comes down to, and that may not sound like much, but 
the stuff we do for ourselves. It really is the most important thing in life because it's really all that we can count on ourselves for is the stuff we do. Now, I'm not sure I'm explaining that right. Maybe one day I'll make a video explaining that a bit better. But the realization of the stuff we do being the most important thing in life is a big one for me. Even if I can't really go in, into much depth of that right now. There are plenty of other realizations I've had that I will definitely list some other time in future videos, maybe. Another one I've had, I guess, is that we don't know. We actually don't know what's, what's after this life. We don't know what's going to happen or where we go after we die or anything like that. So since we don't know, since it's so unknown, since it's such a mystery, we should just treat this life like it's the most important thing in the universe, like it's all we have. Because we really don't know what's next or what's out there, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I guess that kind of comes back to the stuff we do being so important, you know? Because sometimes we develop these mindsets in this life that make this life seem less important because of our negative mindset, but really we don't know what's next. We don't know a lot of things. So we really should be treating this life and the things we do in this life as the most important thing in the universe. Because anything else, right now, is unknown to us. And that's okay. That's okay. This video is over 17 minutes long. I didn't think it would be this long. But yeah, those are just 10 things I'm grateful for off the top of my head. And yeah, I hope you all have a great day.